My name is Ben, and I'm an award-winning digital advertising expert. I have over a decade of experience managing hundreds of millions of dollars for multiple brands, including large international brands, to political campaigns, and small businesses. You may recognize me from my other courses, Digital Advertising and Marketing 101, the 201, Introduction to Programmatic Advertising, among others. To date, my courses have been taken by over 8,000 students in 130 countries. In Digital Advertising and Marketing 301, I give you over five hours of content covering a number of topics that are really important to understand in today's industry. These include location targeting, GPS and beacons, retargeting, how ad blocking works and affects the industry, social listening, contract negotiations, and so much more. I also take you through a number of different platform demos like how to set up a campaign in a DSP, a demand side platform, how to use an SSP to monetize your content, and how to set up a Facebook ad campaign. Finally, I offer some interviews with other industry experts. I'll also add interviews to this course over time, making sure to give you an additional perspective on the industry and what's coming down the pike. I also give periodic tests and ask questions to make sure that you're fully comprehending the subject matter that we're covering. By the end of this course, you should have the tools that you need to go out and be a successful digital advertising expert in the digital advertising and programmatic space. This course is perfect for students who are looking to explore more about the digital advertising space or for media and advertising professionals who are looking to increase your knowledge, personal value, and set yourself up for the next job or promotion. So sign up, take notes, and let's get started. Now, GPS data is accurate to within four meters of a particular location. So thinking about all the examples we've talked about before, this is by far the most accurate. Not only do we know if somebody is in a store versus are they in a home or are they on a sidewalk, we know exactly which store they are in and that they aren't in the one next to it. So here we are on Google Maps and we have the Mall of America opened up. So we're going to start to pull out some flat log data using Google. So first we're going to search for one of the stores, such as Best Buy. And now we have multiple Best Buys, but we're going to look at the one in the mall. As we click on that, if you look up into the URL string, you see a lat long. And Okay, so now that we've created the campaign, we have to go back and upload our creative. So I've gone back to the home screen and I'm going to click into my brand. And now we see a few things on the left that we didn't have before. One of them is my ads. So I need to upload an actual image. So here I'm going to say new ad, image or video. In this situation, I'm going to do image, select my file. I have one ready to go. Digital Advertising Marketing 101, 80% off, sign up now. Could not be more straightforward and to the point. The name I'm going to say 80% off as well so I know what the message is. So the default is it shows one day or seven days. So we can see a few things. We start by looking at mentions. So over the past seven days, there have been 556 public social mentions that include the hashtag Applebee's. That has been done by 223 unique authors. And now down here, we see sentiment, which is interesting. 23% positive and 13% negative. So sentiment is something that most social listening tools will try to measure, but it is fairly subjective and may or may not be accurate every time. It is essentially saying how many of your tweets are positive, negative, the rest being neutral. But because it can't always take into account the actual tone or is it slang or the context of the word, it may rank a positive tweet as negative. Now on the left, you see a number of different options that we're gonna go through. So we're gonna go to top themes first. So top themes gives us what uh, we'll call a word cloud. And you may have seen things similar to this. So you can go through and see by size of the word, what words are being associated with the term 
Hashtag Applebee's. It's four dollars and six cents out of the original five dollar bid. But there's a little bit more to this. Come over here to Mopub and our inventory. Mopub, similar to DBM, is going to charge a fee. That fee goes to the publishers. The fee they charge to the publishers to work with them. So if Mopub is charging a 25 cent fee, which is very much in range with what they may charge, of that $2, 50 cents is going to go to Mopub, $1.50 to the publisher.